Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz is cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Friday, so I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. It's time for another Cooking Tips and Household Hints. And, guys, I'm going to do something super simple tonight, guys. And what we're actually going to do is do up some of these frozen solid hamburgers I got right here. It's an 80-20 split, and I've got some uh, frozen uh, tater tots. Guys, I've had a few of y'all request that I do a few more cooks with my Cooks Essential 1500 watt air fryer, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna try this is the first time I've tried this, guys, and hopefully it's not a big fail. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna fry them up in the air fryer, the hamburgers, and uh, I'm gonna bring y'all along for the ride, guys. But first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and run this up to 400, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it for two minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and do a, a just a preheat cycle, guys, and I'll get right back to you. This should be simple. And All right, guys, easy. Our two minutes at 400 is just about up, our preheat cycle. And as soon as we hear the little beep, 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 uh, we should be ready to get our hamburgers on in there. And like I said, guys, these are frozen solid. So I'm actually going to probably have to stack them just a little bit, guys. And what I'll do is after uh, after they've cooked for a few minutes, I'm sure they're going to they're gonna shrink up. But first things first, guys, I want to get a little bit of uh, my canola oil up in here. Okay, guys, now I want to go ahead and get my hamburgers on in here. And be careful, this thing is hot. And I'm going to do them just like that to start with, guys. And I'll reseason them here in a minute as well. But, uh, alright, guys, let's go ahead and get her on up in here. I'm going to hit the center button here. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it up to about three. Let's see here, 380, and I'm gonna do it for let's say 12 minutes to start with, and we'll give her. We'll check on her into here in just a bit, guys. All right, guys, here we go. We're off to the races. Three eighty, 12 minutes. All right, guys, I'll get right back with you. We'll check it happen. All right, guys, we're about five minutes in. I can hear it in there sizzling away. So let's uh, go ahead and take a peek at it. And once I pull it, guys, it'll start back exactly where we pulled it at. So, oh my God. Look at that, guys. Man, oh man, oh man. Seven minutes. All right, guys, let me get a little bit more seasoning on them. All right, y'all, let's get it back on up in here. And we'll check it in five minutes. She should start back up with the races here. 380. Should have five minutes remaining. All right, guys. All right, guys. We got less than a minute remaining at 380 degrees. She should cycle off here in just one second. And after our last minute is up. There we go. We got the little whirly bird. And what she's doing, I guess she's actually purging the unit. Fan stays on. We should get our little beep, beep, beep here in one second. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a peek at these bad boys. Look at that, man. I am freaking amazed. Look at this, guys. Now what I might do is I'm going to go ahead and do them on this side for like maybe two minutes. Look at that though. Doesn't that look pretty? Ain't that amazing? Man, oh man. Sakes alive. Sakes alive. Alright guys, let's get them back up in here. And it's already good and preheated. I'm going to run it to 380 right there. And let's go three minutes. That uh, that would be 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes. All right, guys. Look how easy this is, guys. And I mean, it's going to be simple cleanup. Merely just kind of wiping it out just a bit. But uh, all right, guys, after this, we're going to get our tater tots in there. And we're going to be ready to rock. We're going to be ready to sit down and eat, y'all. All right, guys, we've got less than a minute remaining. We're running at 380. I can't wait to take a peek at these. I'm here to tell you. Mom even hollered at me and said how great uh, great the kitchen smelled. And I'm here to tell you, man, it smells fantastic. And uh, I just think this is the cat's pajamas, guys. Come on, girl.
Look at them bad boys, y'all. Man, oh man, oh man, now. Look at that. Those are cooked perfect, guys. Ain't that something? Now what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll put them over in the microwave because these taters, the tater tots ain't gonna take long at all to cook. Look at that, guys. Ain't that awesome? Man, oh man, oh man, sakes alive, sakes alive. All right, guys, now what I'm merely gonna do here is I'm gonna take this towel here and I'm just gonna wipe it out just a little bit. I mean, it ain't gotta be perfect or nothing. But look, guys, that's all the grease that was in this. All the grease goes down to the bottom right there. Look at that. So you're virtually cooking grease free here. All right, guys. Now what I'm gonna do is actually just take a little bit of this up too. Look at all that grease that it didn't cook in. Look at that, guys. Ain't that something? Sakes alive, sakes alive. Alright guys, like I said, it ain't got to be perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll actually take, I guess, some more of my canola oil here, even though it is greased. We can get it greased up a little bit better. Alright guys, and all we're going to do is take our tater tots and dump them on in there. Now what I like to do with my tater tots and french fries, my crinkle cuts, is I'll just take a little bit of olive oil. I love these little things here. I got this at Walmart for like 89 cents. Bought a bunch of them. I've got my canola oil in them, olive oil. But uh, that's all there is to that, guys. Let's go on and get them up in here. I'm gonna run this puppy up to 400 this time. And we're gonna go, let's say, 10 minutes. And I'll check on them here in just one second. And we're off to the races, guys. 10 minutes, 400 degrees. And look at these hamburgers, y'all. Ain't that something? I'm very, very impressed. All right, guys. All right, guys, take a peek at them dudes. Man, oh man. All right, guys, we are ready to rock, guys. We got our air fried hamburgers. Look at that, and I took some Velveeta and I put it on top and I just melted it off in the microwave a little bit. We got our uh, tater tots, got a little bit of onion, some ketchup, some hamburger buns, some mayo. And guys, I picked me up some Pops Spicy Harbergill Dill Pickles. Man, oh man, oh man, sakes alive. I can't wait to get after this. Look at him, man. All right, guys, we're all plated up and I think mama's got hers ready. You wanna give it a shot, mom? Now those are air fried hamburgers. Put a little velvet on them. Mm. Are they good? Yeah, they are excellent. Is that right? Okay. I'm amazed. Not greasy at all. Alright, guys. Let's take a peek at them. Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, guys. Got my hot pickles on there. Some onion. Just the way I like it. And I like to put the slabs of onion on there. Just got a little bit of mayo on there. Look at that bad boy. Air fried. We're on this table. I mean it. We were on this table within 25 minutes. Man, you can't beat that. An easy cleanup. Mm. It's still in the juices. That is delicious. Oh my God, it's fantastic, guys. I did a ribeye in there, I think. 
while that. We'll do this again. No greasy stove. Mm. Good God Almighty, that's good. All right, guys. Tater tots are super crispy. Mmm. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Mmm. Sakes alive, sakes alive. Mm mm mm. A little bit of ketchup, a little bit of pickle. <laughs> I love my spicy pickles, y'all. <clears throat> well, guys, I wanted to say thank you so very, very much for stopping by and visiting with me over on Cooking Tips and Household Hints. And guys, this was a pure, simple one. I'm. I'm Sorry, it wasn't no, nothing extravagant, but I'm here to tell you that air fryer was worth every dime. I'm not positive. How much did we spend on that? Like 99 bucks? Yeah, I think it was on sale for 99 off the Home Shopping Network, or was it QVC? <laughs> I'll find it and leave a link for y'all. All right, guys, I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Take care. Bye.